hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel tricky world so the agenda of today's video would be that how we can automate analysis for office so analysis for office uh, who don't know there is an application in excel which we can use in order to connect with the sap bw reports so if i start from very scratch there is a sap which is a erp system most of the companies are using there are specific bw reports which we can connect directly with the excel with the help of analysis for office application so analysis for office application if i uh, jump to screen on top here we have two options analysis analysis design so once we have analysis for office application installed on our system then we will be able to see these two options in excel analysis and analysis design so agenda of today we, today's video would be how we can automate analysis for office technical part with the help of excel macros vba so on screen we have a table so if in order to connect with the sap bw reports there is an option on top insert data source we can click here and we can select data source for analysis once we will click on this particular icon there will be a dialog box will be which will come where we will be having all the reports of sap bw we can select particular bw report as per our requirement so i have selected one bw report which is this one if i show you a little bit of interface here we have display design panel we have all the fields we can drag as per our requirement in rows columns or maybe filter so now how we can automate this before uh, you know creating this particular report before importing this particular report in excel there was a screen for prompts so here we have prompts here we have put all the variables as per our requirement uh, maybe date period and plant and data is getting populated for this criteria only so how we can change this criteria criteria with the help of vba coding we will see so i will jump to developer tab there is a macro and bw testing i have already created a macro let us review that macro I will give it side by side. Yeah. So for refreshing the entire table, there is a simple command, a refresh a variable we can take and we can assign this particular command application dot run SAP execute command refresh data. So this particular command, if I execute, it will refresh this table yep so this table has refreshed now ignore this uh, error message this is for some other reason so now let's say i want to change the i want to change the prompts which are part of this so here we have prompts the default prompts are let's say 12 10 21 year is 21 i have to make it 22 and i have to change plant to some other number how we can do that we will see so okay first of all we will declare a variable a and then there is a, a command application dot run sap set variable then this particular text we will fetch from prompt screen if i go back so for let's say i want to change this particular field we can click here we can show technical names and then we will be having these names starting with the star and bracket so for date we have to copy this particular text calendar days underscore four and for plant we need to copy this particular text plant underscore one so i have already copied these two texts here one is for calendar day second is for plant so first value would be this fixed value sap set variable second value would be the prompt variable code which we want to change third would be text which we want to change so 
in case of date it is a range so we need to give it a range here which with the dash in between of dash let me put it on full screen yeah so let's say i will change it from 0 1 0 3 and 22 and same i will change to let's say 22 so this is our third value we have changed fourth blank you can ignore fifth ds underscore one so this is a database this is the first table in our excel file so it will be ds underscore one in case there is a two tables then ds underscore two would be there same way the second we have declared a variable b application dot run same plant so plant let's say we want to change to five six zero and this so if i run these two statements first one f8 as we can see there is a loading which is which is there in the back end and second statement so now both come both text would have been changed in the prompts for cross check we can click this we can click on prompts if we see here so date have been changed from 1 3 2020 and 2560 so this is how this works in case any variable has to be changed or refresh has to be done in the report we can do by these simple codes also let's say multiple inputs have to be done then we can put a semicolon in between and we can give multiple inputs as well for one particular variable so this is just for an example so this is all for today's video how we can automate sap bw reports with the help of analysis for office in excel and how further we can automate those bw reports within analysis for office with the help of vba macros thanks for watching tricky world keep tricking